Hi everyone, good morning, Rama here. Today I am going to discuss support sequence generator transformation and what are all the uh, properties that are available in sequence generator transformation. In sequence generator transformation, we have next value and per value ports. These are all default ports that are available. It will not accept any input, any input ports from the upstream transformation. That provision is not available here. Okay. Curve value is nothing but next value plus increment value. Here I could see a cycle reset also. Okay, suppose you have 100 records in your target table. You want to generate the sequence numbers 1 to 4, 1 to 4, 1 to 4, like cycle. Right? If you want to generate for first record, it will be 1 to 4. Again, it will start 1 to 4. Again, it will start 1 to 4, not 1 to 100. If you want like that, right? You just use the cycle option that is available in sequence generator transformation. Whenever you are going to use the cycle option, immediately integration service will help you to take the base value or start value as, start value as one, okay? And increment by one. You are giving one, it will take one. If you give two, it will take two. If you give 100, it will take 100. And the end value, end value is four. Here my scenario is for each and every each and every four records okay i am going to generate one to four again from fifth record it will be generate like one to four again like this suppose you want to see uh, to reset option how it will behaves how it will help you with the help of the same sequence generator transformation yes you can go ahead and you can reuse the reset option as well okay the moment when you are going to enable this reset option immediately integration service will take current value is the first value and increment increment is common for cycle and reset and the end value you want to generate the if you know well about no i want to generate up to uh, 16 since you are having the 16 records in your target table yes it will generate 1 to 16 1 to 16 subsequent run again you are going to run one more time, the same mapping, same session. What it will do? It will reset. It will reset and it will generate the again 1 to 16. Actually, the last value will be stored in your repository. That will be persistent. That will be fixed. That will be stored in your repository. For a next run, what will happen? 17, it will start. The last value stored is 16. Again, you are incrementing 1. 16 plus 1, 17. For next run, first record having 17, 18, 19, 20, like that. If you don't want those sequence numbers, for each and every run, you want to see only 1 to 16. You can go ahead and use the reset property that is available in sequence generator transformation. Let me show you the example here. Okay. So this is the flat mapping that I have. This is the source and this is my target table. Okay. See, when you click on this one, I reset some properties. Okay. Default properties are, I have resetted actually. See, start value is one. And this is the increment by one. End value is 16. And I enable, I enabled cycle option. If you want to enable reset, yes, you can reset. You can enable reset. For every time, what will happen? The moment when you enable reset, current value it will take as a first value, increment by one, and the end value is 16. Okay. Let me save these properties and run my sequence. I mean, I want I'm going to run my mapping. Okay. Here I already provided the information that is available for uh, database only. Okay. So this is source connection relational reader is oracle and here also i'm using for oracle if you want you can use the target target table option as well you can apply control yes then you can run the workflow here let me run the workflow okay see session is completed successfully Go to get run properties. See how many are succeeded. Source success rows, 16 rows and 16 rows are generated in your target table as well. You want to see the 
information here also you can see under source or target statistics also okay in database we will try to uh, run the select query see how many are generated sequence numbers 1 to 16 1 to 16 okay let me run again the same workflow start workflow this is the second time i am going to run again 16 records are loaded same records already loaded see again it is giving 1 to 16 okay if you change any properties here accordingly it will help you to generate the sequence numbers now i will enable i will enable cycle option okay the moment when you enable cycle option the start value it will take as the base value increment by one and the end value i am going to give the end value is four apply the changes that are happened that are provided here control yes and you can go ahead and you can refresh your session why you are going to refresh your session whatever changes you have done at mapping level those are all will be captured by your session latest changes it will take and it will load the data okay let me run the mapping again with the help of workflow it is completed 16 are available in my source and same records are loaded into my target table okay if you want to see yes see here 124 124 124 124 right the one which i have updated properties accordingly i am able to see the i am able to see the sequence numbers here suppose you have a scenario for every fourth record i want to load into the target table it is very easy to first you can uh, generate the sequence numbers one to four and take the filter transformation there you can give where sequence id equal to four that's all wherever four is there all four right it is showing wherever four all four sequence number id related records will load into your target table right like this we have to analyze and we can do the scenarios in informatica power center okay this is how it will help you to generate the sequence numbers with the help of sequence generator transformation okay thank you guys uh, thanks for your time here